all yes mm -hmm. see um without jurisdiction to issue the protection order yes uh -huh. and then allowing for uh this fraudulent allegation of violating the protection order yes so that you arrest me mm -hmm. and then uh you have me go through a jury trial where i'm found not guilty yes while i was on probation yep while there was a no contact provision of the of the probation yes <laughs> and then you reissued it for another year didn't you mm -hmm. well really you just allowed my wife to cover up the fraud of using the court to issue a dissolution of marriage now it's a different kind of a lawsuit brent yes you can't arbitrarily decide well we're going to reissue the protection order because i broke it yes without waiting for the verdict of the jury as to whether I was guilty or not guilty. Yes. And then when you don't wait to listen to what the jury says, you allowed for the last eight years. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, May 24th of 2012, and it's June of 2019. Seven years of the fraud of my wife, yes, using the judicial system mm -hmm, to issue a disillusion of marriage. Well, let's go ahead. Where the fraud was that they never had jurisdiction to issue the disillusion of marriage. Now, I'm going to want you to remove it. <laughs> As I mentioned, um, when my wife uses my last name without my consent or authority, yes, she really abused the role of being a spouse. Ah. Huh? Oh, now it might not seem important to you, but when I'm wanting to sue you, yes, it is important to me to be able to sue you. Now, I'd like to use the courts of the United States because you can't uh, allege yes, uh -huh, violating of a protection order on May 4th of 2012. Yes. 20 days before, yes, so that you could go through welfare and all these other government agencies. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then you could make up a bullshit story that I violated the restraint provisions when I called Healthy Families of Clallam County. Yes. <laughs> and then you can continue to cover up the fraud of issuing a dissolution of marriage where there's no jurisdiction. <laughs> now, you might not want me to have custody of my sons. Yes. But I am the respondent, and I am the respondent that happens to be the father of the five minors named. Yes. And when I told you that I wanted you to give me my sons, that means I want you to do what the... <clears throat> you know, you're going to go to prison. I'll put every fucking cop in this nation in prison. You're going to go to prison. It's an obvious crime. Yes. To use the courts mm -hmm. to issue a dissolution of marriage. Yes. Petition for dissolution. Oh. <laughs> Summons. Uh huh. Confidential report. Financial declaration. Ouch. Proposed parenting plan. Child support. Child support. Child support. Yes. <laughs> Knowing that they did not have the authority of law to issue it. That means every document that was submitted to the court was fraudulent. <laughs> and when you had me arrested at the same moment. Fraud, kidnapping, mm. hate crimes, poop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, uh, as I was reading this, um, if the petitioner mm -hmm. has petitioned for relief uh, on behalf of the respondent's minor children, uh -huh, the court shall advise uh -huh, the petitioner that if the petitioner, yes, uh, if the petitioner, uh huh, wants to continue protection for a period beyond one year, mm -hmm. the petitioner may either petition for renewal pursuant to the provisions of this chapter or uh -huh, uh, may seek relief uh, pursuant to the provisions of chapter 26.09 or 26.26. Yes. The problem is when you, when you have somebody arrested at the same moment of serving them, yes, you actually can't petition the court to renew the protection order. It has to stay in force, even though it's invalid. Yes, until there's a verdict of the jury. And as I documented, since Judge Porter was the judge of that court case, he's the only one that could reissue it. Brent. Now, 
since you abused your power, mm -hmm. you allowed for the kidnapping of my sons for eight years. Yes. You tortured me for the last eight years because of all the fraudulent use of my last name. Yeah. <laughs> the the fake arrest. Ouch. Where I'm the one that went to jail. Uh huh. When I wasn't in Swim Washington. Ouch. <laughs> and then the uh, Mindy Walker. Look at this. The judge in Jefferson County. Yes. This idea that I'm incompetent for knowing that I wasn't in Brendan, Washington right now. And that I'm incompetent for knowing that I did not email the Brennan or Ouch. Well, listen, Sheriff. Uh-huh. Stankow. <laughs> sheriff. Ooh, Joe. Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to do every fucking sheriff right now. You just cannot arbitrarily decide that you're going to dissolve a United Nations marriage certificate. Yes. When the petitioner did know at the time that you couldn't do it. Oh, now you got to make it look like you can. You got to put a little squeeze on the guy. <clears throat> now this driver's license number. Yes. I was six foot two at the time of the issuance of the number. Yes. And I weighed 255 pounds. Yes. And this half a million dollars bail, uh -huh. Judge Landis, I thought that was excessive. <laughs> now, I know that you transported me across county lines on the 19th day of September of 2017. Yes, for a, a failure uh -huh. mm -hmm. to appear on August 21st of 2017. Yes, for a court hearing mm -hmm. where no one served me. Yes, mm -hmm. Now, the last known address was Mike Van Proyen's address. Yes, it was. Uh huh. And when I asked Judge Landis, well, where'd you send the notice? Yes. <laughs> she said the last known address. Did it happen to be this address right here? Yes. Because I never changed my address right now. Mm -hmm. I never did. Pooch. Was it 1023 Kitchen Dick Road right here? Yes. <laughs> because when I looked online, it looked like Pastor Mike was having his service yesterday. Mm. Now, for all of the fraud, yes, mm -hmm. I think there's some real significant lawsuits about continuing to employ somebody in Foursquare <coughs> that abusively uses his adopted daughter to exploit her. Yes. And then there's the question of Marilyn's name in that Rotarian newsletter. It's still online. Yes. yes. Now, um, these respondents, minor children. Yes. Um, I want them. <laughs> <laughs> I know you say it's not a big lawsuit. It's it's big enough to cause any judge in the United States to think twice. Yes. Now, because it does. It, it is big enough of a lawsuit. It might not be hundreds of billions, but we're just getting going right now. <laughs> it's big enough that if any judge allows for the petitioning for dissolution of marriage without a, a valid marriage certificate from a nation of reciprocity. Yes. That would be Canada or Mexico, from my understanding. <laughs> but we can go through the other 170 nations, approximate number. Yes. And I can ask you, can you dissolve a marriage from Estonia? <laughs> can you dissolve a marriage from Turkey? <laughs> can you dissolve a, a marriage from, well, uh, Iran, <laughs> Venezuela, North Korea? Shut the fuck up. <laughs>